Hey guys, it's Steve from the Tech Buzz Gaming, and today I got a really good unboxing for you. It's the BitPixel LCD from At Games, and I wanted to kind of show you a little bit of what's inside the box, and also what it looks like once it's on your system, and a couple of steps to take to ensure that your BitPixel LCD works great. Take a look at this. <music> Alright, so you can see it comes in the BitPixel LCD packaging straight from At Games. And when you open it up, it's packaged really well. It's got this cardboard overlay with a piece of foam, and you're greeted with the user manual right out of the gate. Let's check this out. We have the USB mail cable, USB A to USB A. Uh, that's going to connect the BitPixel LCD to your Legends unit. We also have the power cable for it and the splitter so you can connect it in to your Legends Ultimate power supply. We also have a USB splitter that you're able to use here so you can add multiple USB ports to your device. And of course we have the mounting screw and hardware kits for the screw pattern. The screw pattern can be found inside the manual depending on if you have an ALU 1.0 or a 1.2. Now, let's take a look at the star of the show. You can see the gloss, and I'm sorry for the fingerprints. I've had it in and out of the bag. Uh, but let's take a look at this backside. This is where you're going to put your USB thumb drive for the BitPixel. There has to be a separate one. And you want to make sure that the switch is facing the thumb drive from the factory. That's a must, otherwise you're not going to get any image. There's also a mode button, but that's not being used right now. You'll see that on the other side. Here's where you plug your power into, and then you also want to plug your USB cable that I showed you here a little bit ago into there. And then also you're not using the HDMI out on it. It's not being used currently. And then you also have the troughs to put your cables in. All right, now that we've got it installed, very simple. You can see the At Games Fit LCD marquee is up and running. It's got a nice animated background. Now, I know the camera's not going to be able to do it justice, uh, but let me tell you something. This is a super clear marquee. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. Now, one of the things that you're going to see is just this basic text until you get some of the marquees for your third-party games. So if you're running CoinOps X, if you're running Bring Your Own Games, you're just gonna have a title like this. And in a future video, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, there are some basic games. As soon as this is done booting up, I'm gonna go into the games that are built in pretty much all of the 300 or 350, depending on which ALU you have. I have ALU 1.0. All of them are pretty much uh, built in. They have the marquees form. So you're gonna see that along with some menu items and they're really, really brilliant. Um, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed. So um, let's take a look at, I'm gonna move it over here to, to TikTok, or excuse me, TikTok, tic-tac-toe. <laughs> and you can see here, uh, tic-tac-toe is the marquee. Uh, let me see here try to get it on there we'll go to eight eyes and adventure and adventure two air sea battle aqua adventure apocalypse alpine ski aladdin air calvary so these are all the built-in games that are on the system. You are gonna find some that don't have the marquee or it's not a full marquee like that, uh, but it's a good start. And hopefully the community, you guys can help source this. Wagner from Wagner's Tech, uh, he actually has a document on how to make the right size marquees so that way you put them in. It's very, very simple to do. Like I said, uh, I'll do a video on it as well. Um, but you can see here, it's put the marquees and I've added some of the ones that were kind of missing. So, uh, I have probably 10,000 marquees in here 
that I've added. Uh, Google is your friend. I will tell you that you can find a lot of things on Google. And as you can see here, um, the, the marquees look brilliant. Um, they're just phenomenal looking. So here's one that I found that wasn't there, but it has some borders on it, but I didn't want to stretch the picture. So uh, to me, this is fine, at least for right now, until we find a better marquee, something that we could fill this in. You know, I'd have to do some customization, but I really wanted to show you, if you're on the fence about getting this, you really want to, you really want to pick this up. This is a, this is a huge upgrade from the BitPixel uh, LLED. Um, this is, this is great. The LCD is phenomenal. So let me go over here uh, to CoinOps under App Store X, you guys can see. Um, now I will tell you, when you first put this on, you'll obviously you'll see this, um, you want your thumb drive, you wanna be able to uh, come into App Store X and what you're going to do, the first thing you're gonna do is when you put this on is you're gonna come over here and here's the artwork here for Pixel KDX, and then we'll go over to the one for Legends Bit LCD. It just looks phenomenal. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the Bit LCD, and you're going to hit A. And what you're going to do first is you're going to install this, just like you would your Pixel Kate or anything else. The next thing you're going to come over here to do is you are going to update the Big Pixel LCD. You're going to do the firmware first. Do the firmware, if it fails, sometimes it's connecting to the internet, depending on if you're connected to ethernet or Wi-Fi, it might fail when it goes to data transfer, that's okay, run it again and it'll it'll do it. Um, then you wanna do the resources after you've done the firmware. After you do the resources, you should have a lot more of the artwork that is in the BitPixel. After that, you wanna click on it after it's all done and what you wanna do is you wanna come back in here and you wanna click on the launch button. Once you do that, your big pixel should be up and running. And I also put a, a, a toggle here to allow it to start with the machine. So I don't really have to ever start it or, you know, do any of that stuff. Okay. And now that we've got that completed, now what we want to do is let's go into CoinOps. So you can see brilliant CoinOps X marquee. We're going to launch this up. And I just wanna show you some of the titles in here of how it looks. Now, not, again, I have tons and tons of games and I don't have all the artwork for them. I'm gonna to have to technically go through it. But here's some of the ones, like without stretching it, you've got Act Finder. It's got the cool background. It's missing some of it here. But, um, you know, you go down here, this one's kind of stretched. I didn't really like that, but hey, it works. Uh, this one also is stretched. Um, 1941, 1942. So I'm going to have to go through and find some different marquees. Like here's one. This is how it would look if you didn't find the marquees. It would just have, uh, just like that. So most of my games all have the marquees. So, uh, you know, go online and search around, check it out. Like I said, the Neo Geo ones look really good. They have... The full border looks like it's uh, on a Neo Geo cabinet. And um, like I said, there's a few of them that I don't have. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, there was a few on the other ones I didn't have. But uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this and I hope you check it out. Well, guys, I really hope you liked this video. One thing I want to tell you, the reason this video was a little late was because I had some questions when it came to some of the firmware. I was using uh, a beta build of the firmware before it was actually released. I ran into a little bit of a hiccup. And let me tell you something, as a customer, uh, it was really good to contact at Game Support. I know these support companies, they get terrible, terrible reviews all the time from people and I, I didn't know what to expect. Usually as an influencer, you can connect with people there and you can you know, kind of move things along. But going through Act Games customer support, because that was something I wanted to do to see what it was really like. Was what I was reading on the internet true? Uh, within 24 hours, I supplied them with all the information that they needed and they got me a resolution. It was that quick. So I would encourage anybody out there, if you're reading things about their support, to take it with a grain of salt. Really depends on what the situation is and what the issue is. So. Again, 
kudos to at games for getting a resolution to my issue very quickly and uh, i really appreciate that and guys make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you check us out every thursday night at 9 p.m eastern for game time we have a great time discussing all this great stuff so tune in and like and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate that until next time guys keep it above